What? You mean not all teenagers get invited to debutante balls where they wear diamond tiaras? Euphoria deals with the struggles of high school students in a way that real teens find relatable and fun to watch. How are the cast and crew able to achieve this? Collider has dug up some fun behind the scenes facts about the making of this visually stunning show. Which cast members took method acting a little too far? How did the costume designer come up with those amazing outfits? And what are the logistics behind that crazy rotating room scene? As one of the breakout stars of the series, Hunter Schaefer makes it look like she's been acting for years. Actually, this was her first ever acting role. As she described in a Build series interview, Schaefer had only done modeling up to that point. She was aiming for a career as a fashion designer and had only vaguely considered acting when she auditioned for the role of Jules. Series creator Sam Levinson was interested in bringing together a cast that included people who could best embody their characters. This meant the roles were not reserved for experienced actors only. Levinson told Entertainment Weekly, it was more about finding the right mix of people who can handle the material and bring a certain kind of uncontrollable spirit and life to it. Schaefer's real-life experience as a young trans person contributed to the creation of her character's personality. Taking ideas from her own life story allowed Schaefer to flesh out what Jules was really all about. As a result, Jules stands out as one of television's most well-rounded and interesting transgender characters. We've all had those moments when our world is turned upside down. The main character of the show, Rue Bennett, experiences them more than most, sometimes literally. Rue has just come out of rehab, but all she wants to do is party and get high. In her confused and altered state of mind, she lurches around trying to find balance as the world around her spins out of control. You might be wondering how this scene was shot. Instead of using motion control or fancy editing, why not just build an entire room that spins around like a rotisserie chicken? This was in fact what they did. Zendaya moved around from the walls to the ceiling as the room revolved in a gimbal while the other actors of the scene were strapped to the floor. Was it worth it to build an entire specially constructed room just for this scene? Uh, yeah, we think so. The fact that all of these actors were actually in the scene instead of being edited in with cinematic trickery makes it much more immersive as an experience. Sam Levinson was tasked with remaking an Israeli show that portrayed teenagers' lives in a candid way. He saw this as the perfect opportunity to dig into his past and recreate the feeling of a young person suffering from mental health issues. The sense of depression and isolation that he felt at the time is conveyed in this expressionalistic style of the series. Levinson ensured that the writing of the show didn't come across as an adult writing about kids and talking down to them because his own memories of being a teenager were fresh in his mind. He revealed that some of the events in the show were inspired by his own struggle with drug addiction. But it wasn't all doom and gloom for Levinson. He told Entertainment Weekly that he hopes the series can help bridge the gap between parents and their teenage children. Adults who have not grown up in the age of social media might not be fully aware of the pressure their kids are often facing. Euphoria helps to shed some light on that world and make Generation Z better understood. We may think of him mainly as a recording artist, but Drake actually got his first taste of fame as an actor on a teen drama. Drake is considered one of today's hottest celebrities, but did you know he first stepped into the limelight on Degrassi, the next generation? He played Jimmy Brooks, a well-to-do yet humble basketball star. It was stupid. It'll never happen again. I promise. Maybe Drake was feeling nostalgic for those days of high school drama when he decided to become an executive producer of Euphoria. It's not certain exactly how much of his time Drake contributed to Euphoria as he is one of several executive producers. What we do know is he met some of the stars on Euphoria set. Both Hunter Schaefer and Zendaya mentioned meeting him once. He later threw them a lavish rap party. The actors received gift bags and large wads of cash. Drake may not have been hugely involved in Euphoria, but at least he knows how to show his appreciation for the cast. The next time Drake throws a party, we at Collider would like to get an invite. Costume designer Heidi Bivens was inspired by real-life observation of people she knew as well as working closely with each cast member to figure out what was right for their character. The costume designer was also allowed to break the rules of what the students could realistically be permitted to wear to school events. It's not likely that a high school student could just traipse into the winter formal wearing nothing but a fishnet dress, but Euphoria's sense of style is more about how these characters see the world and themselves rather than a perfectly realistic portrayal. As teenagers, they see the world in an emotionally heightened way. The bright colors and daring fashion choices accentuate the drama and the budding sense of identity these young people are developing. Maddie's outfit in the season finale was inspired by Rose McGowan's daring dress for the 1998 MTV Video Music Awards. Even before the Me Too movement got underway, McGowan was making a statement about refusing to be oppressed. 
It makes sense that after everything she had been through, Maddie would want to make a similar statement with her outfit. Method acting is not always the most enjoyable. It means getting into character on a very deep level. Some actors try to do the same activities as their character would do on a daily basis. They might also stay in character after the cameras have stopped rolling. It takes a lot of sacrifice, but can pay off in realistic performances as actors literally become their characters. Hey, Stella! Actor Jacob Elrodi suffered from a concussion while using method acting during an intensely emotional scene. He plays Nate, an aggressive high school jock who is ostensibly the villain, but Elrodi's powerful acting allowed Nate to be seen as more complex and maybe even sympathetic. In a scene where Nate is supposed to fight his father, played by Eric Dane, both actors agreed to try something a little different. They actually decided to fight for real. It turned into an emotional moment with Nate freaking out after being pinned down by his dad, but it did not go well for Elrodi's health as he ended up with a concussion. It was gnarly, Elrodi said about his injuries. It was really, really gnarly. Huh? Come on, Nate. Angus Cloud seems to have accidentally stumbled into fame. He's lucky enough to have a cool name like Angus Cloud, but his good fortune doesn't end there. Despite having no previous acting experience, Cloud was cast as Fezco after he was spotted by a casting agent in New York City. Most of us have never been stopped in the middle of the street and forcefully persuaded to join the cast of a TV show. It's not surprising Cloud's first thought was that he was being scammed. Also, we have to wonder, how did he feel being told that he was perfect for the role of a drug dealer? Hmm. Cloud was not a total newbie to show business since he had studied at the Oakland School for the Arts. During his time there, he focused on the more technical side of theater, such as lighting and set building. And it wasn't just his look that got him the part. According to GQ, the newly discovered actor still had to audition, but Cloud changed some of the wording to make it sound more natural to him. He obviously did something right. Euphoria is a series that's honest about teenagers' daily lives, so let's just say its rating was a little higher than PG. Apparently, young people are getting intimate with each other much more than many adults would have imagined. Intimacy coordinator Amanda Blumenthal made sure the actors were comfortable with some of the more steamy scenes. What's an intimacy coordinator, you might ask? Well, it's their job to oversee those types of scenes, you know the ones we mean, and make sure each actor is only asked to do the things that they agreed upon in their contract. The actors of Euphoria said that they're very grateful to have someone who represents them. The intimacy coordinator resolves any issues between the actors and director to make sure no humans are harmed in the making of the video. There used to be fewer thought given to how comfortable an actor felt while making scenes of a certain nature. The history of filmmaking is filled with incidents of actors pushed way past their limit. We're happy to report that nowadays the entertainment industry is changing. More concern is given to actor safety and well-being. Young adult franchises often use supernatural events and creatures to represent the strong emotions that come with being an adolescent. While Euphoria is set in the real world and contains no wizards or werewolves, the cinematography has a certain magical vibe. This series is about capturing the overwhelming emotions that affect teenagers. Some of us remember a time when we were young and we had trouble communicating or even understanding our own feelings. That's where the epic camera work steps in. The dream-like atmosphere, the bright golden lights flashing in the night, and the sense of suburban decay are signature styles of euphoria. The sci-fi-like environment captures the way these young people feel alienated from the rest of society. Taking a cue from the photography of Todd Hito, it creates a world in which altered states of being begin to seem quite normal. The showrunners also took a page out of the 1999 drama Magnolia. Like Euphoria, this movie also had a strong ensemble cast that portrayed a complex web of interconnected lives. How cool are those extended tracking shots that seamlessly blend various plots together? The makeup department's job on Euphoria was about more than just making the actors look pretty. Of course, they did that too, using generous amounts of glitter and bright shades of neon, but it was also up to the makeup team to create anything from fake injuries to prosthetic body parts. One part that looked and was extremely tricky to pull off was when Rue and Jules got matching tattoos inside their mouths. Tattooing the inside of their lips for real didn't seem like a good option, so some cinematic trickery had to go into the making of this scene. It's tempting to use CGI technology for any technically demanding sequences, but let's face it, CGI often looks fake, taking viewers out of the story. Instead, the makeup artist came up with prosthetic lips for the two actors. The fake lips were transparent and already had the tattooed words on them. They were attached to teeth molds that anchored them in place, and the result is a flawless scene in which Rue and Jules celebrate their relationship with an excruciating but meaningful ritual. Yo, looks good. There is so much to love about Euphoria, from the acting to the music and set design. What was your favorite feature of the show? Let us know in the comments section. 
If you enjoyed this behind the scenes presentation, please hit that like button and subscribe to Collider for more exciting videos.